In addition to 140 characters, tweets can contain pictures and videos as seen at this Chicago Bulls Twitter account. This makes for a quite powerful communication platform. Here we have pictures, videos, there's another picture and another video. Yes, it is only 100 characters per tweet, but adding pictures or videos makes for very compelling medium. Let's discuss three other Twitter concepts. Mentions, retweets and likes. If you use someone else's Twitter address or handle in the body of a tweet, it is referred to as a mention. It is used in lieu of a real name to save characters. Think of it as a Twitter nickname. In this case, at RMHCCNI handle is used to describe the picture of Chicago Bulls staff volunteering at Ronald House Chicago. How do we know who at RMHCCNI is? Clicking on that handle displays their full name on their Twitter page. You may ask why the full name was not displayed in the first place. Two simple reasons. First, this handle uses fewer characters than the actual long name, so we can save several characters against the total limit of 140. The second reason is that when you compose your tweet, Twitter provides a pre-filling option. Let me show you. When I start my tweet by typing hello at rmh, Twitter will suggest the closest match. Instead of continuing to type, I can just select the one I want to use. This saves you keystrokes and avoids mistakes when you type, especially on your phone. Let's go back to the Chicago Bulls account by clicking the back button. Here is another simple tweet announcing that Denzel Valentine was a guest at Bulls Sox Academy. You may notice a dot in front of his handle. Why is it here? A simple rule is, if a handle is preceded by any character or word or sentence, this tweet or post can be seen by everyone. But if it starts with the handle, it is addressed to that user and visible only to his followers and followers of the author of this tweet. A dot is just the fastest way to put any character in front of a handle. Therefore, in this example, Denzel handle is used to describe him on the picture below and it's not intended as a message to him. A retweet is a tweet from someone else that we decided to post using our account. This is a fundamental way of quickly spreading news on the Twitter network. If a single message is retweeted or reposted by many users, the message will spread like wildfire. A retweeted message is marked by a green symbol just above a tweet. In this case, the Chicago Bulls reposted a tweet from the NBA Summer League. If I want to retweet that post or any other, I would click on retweet symbol below the message. I can add comment or I can just retweet it as is. You will notice that the counter of retweets just went up to 56 from 55. Let's retweet another post or tweet. The counter went up from 73 to 74. I can also undo my tweeting. Let's undo this one. The counter went down to 55 from 56. When I look up all my tweets by clicking home, I will see the only one marked with a green symbol and message that you retweeted that post. As you may have guessed, to like any tweet, we click on the heart symbol below any post.